Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah Korn and in today's video I have a very exciting uh, figure unboxing uh, from Bai. So guys, the figure I have in here is actually one of my grails I've had for quite some time here. This figure originally released in 2020, I believe in December. I've been wanting her for a very long time. Uh, with that said guys, this is another Saber Altar figure. If you guys have seen any of my previous videos, I'll have them linked up above. I have the Good Small Company Saber Altar that I got from Amiyami with her casual outfit. Then I have my Saber Altar by Amakuni, which I managed to pick up on Right Stuff, the US retailer, which I'll again link up here. And then of course I have my Saber Altar by Altar. Um, which I managed to pick up pre-owned on Ami Ami. I'll have all three of those videos linked up above. Uh, with that said, guys, let's get on into here so you guys can see which one I've been hunting for. Um, I only picked her up here on buy because I saw her for a good price. She has gone up a couple times on Ami Ami again. Um, I believe just after I got this, actually, she went up on Ami Ami again. But when she went back up on Ami Ami, I think in I think it was the pre-order was for September of this year. Um, she went up on Ami Ami for twenty six thousand yen, and I managed to just pick up this one here on Mercari using Buy for twenty seven thousand yen. So obviously I didn't pay all that much more than what she was going for on Ami Ami. So I'm happy with that. Um, with that said. Taking her up here, um, she does have all of this bubble wrap on, so I'm just going to take this off in a second here. So guys, this figure normally goes for a lot, and I mean a lot on pre -owned. like even though Ami Ami had that uh, small pre-order back up again this year uh, for September, um, it was very limited, and right after that, her aftermarket on pre-owned like, went back to skyrocketing. I think the last one I saw, uh, she was going for around 35,980 yen, which is obviously a lot. Um, taking that bubble wrap off here. You guys can see the figure that I'm talking about. Um, if you've ever seen this figure, you know exactly who this is. It's just based off of the box here. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. And I've wanted this figure in my collection for so long because, I mean, her outfit is so freaking pretty. Her kimono is beautiful, the umbrella is beautiful, the face is beautiful, and she's going to look fantastic with my other saber altars. I try my best to get different outfits um, for all my saber altars. I don't have a bunch wearing the same one. So, um, obviously she's going to stand out uh, next to those guys. I'll, of course, give you guys better close-ups of the box uh, once I'm done here um with that said below uh the details on her are she is the katie call movie version fate stay night saber altar kimono version by katakawa she is a one seventh scale figure um as most of the figures in my collection are these days it seems <laughs> um but i mean she's so big and so pretty i'm so excited to have her in my collection here um, again, I did get her off of Mercari, um, using by JP. I got her for 27,000 yen, which at the time was around 258.66 Canadian. So, again, not terrible, especially compared to that 35,980 yen price difference for her aftermarket. I'm very glad I was able to score her for a good price. With that said, guys, let's get on into her unboxing. Alright guys, so just cutting the teeth around the edges, as always, popping this open and pulling out the large blister pack here, which for the case of this figure makes sense with this massive base that she goes on here. Alright guys, so just opening the blister pack here. It's not taped up because again, this is a pre-owned figure. 
Um, I'm just going to take the base out here, which is gorgeous here, and as you can see, massive. All right, next up, I'm going to take out Saber Alter herself here, and she is very heavy. Um, you can probably see why with everything that's going on here, and oh my god, her kimono is so freaking pretty. All of the paintwork on these flowers is gorgeous. The gold embellishments on here that match the base. Her shoes are awesome. Even like the wrinkles in the socks and her anklet. Her face sculpt is great and of course the colors are accurate for Saber Alter here. The flowers in her hair and the little ribbons and again details, little painted designs on the ribbons. The texture of the fur here. I mean, this figure is so freaking pretty. I know why it goes for so much on the aftermarket. Um, I wasn't willing to pay that much, unfortunately. It's just out of my price range. So I'm so freaking happy I was able to get her in my price range. Um, and sh she's so pretty. I can tell already. She's gonna be one of my favorite figures. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. Um, putting her aside, um, just taking off this here, I'm taking out this umbrella, which I imagine will be very fragile, so I'm going to have to be very careful with this. It is very light, and I can tell already, very easy to break. Um, which, I mean, is accurate with these kinds of umbrellas in real life, right? It's got all of these details here. You can see each little slot here is an individual piece. It looks very accurate to how these look in real life. We've got her pole here, and then the top of the umbrella here. It's gorgeous. Um, very delicate though, so I'm going to put that aside, and we're going to assemble her. So here we have the big base. Uh, there is a larger peg here and a smaller one. The larger one goes in the front portion of her foot, and the smaller one goes in the back portion of her foot. As you can see right here, there's the larger hole and the smaller hole. All right, so just sliding her onto the base as firmly as I can. There we have her. Next up, we're going to be putting the parasol just behind her like this. And fixing it in with her hand here. So that finger this little pinky one is what holds the pole in here so it stays tucked right in there and there we have her assembled she's absolutely stunning guys uh with that said let's move on into her close-ups
So guys, of course, since I got this new saber altar, I had to pull up my other saber altars so you can see what they look like all together. I think she looks great. She definitely stands out from the others, um, but I love how unique each and every one that I have in my collection is. None of them look exactly the same. They're all wearing like different variants on the outfits and I think that they look brilliant together. I'm so happy to finally have this saber altar by Katakawa in the kimono. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, had to show her with the other saber altars. Um, so this is my saber altar collection so far. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it down below. guys so my final thoughts on this saber altar by katakawa are that i absolutely love her obviously she looks fantastic in my collection she's a standout piece i mean all the detail that went into this figure is absolutely phenomenal she is without a doubt gorgeous i i love everything like all the details they did the, the gold details on her bow the color of the kimono, that dark blue classic saber altar. I mean, the base, it is massive, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it is like a big regal figure, and I will forgive it for that reason. I mean, this figure as a whole is just so freaking pretty. All the little details on the parasol, painting on the bows, and her outfit. Yeah, honestly, super impressed. With how this figure turned out and let me know what you guys think of her down below all right guys so that is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a like comment down below subscribe to the channel it would mean a lot to me let me know what you guys thought of this saber altar down below um i hate to say this i love all of the saber altars in my collection but i do have to say she is my absolute favorite i've been wanting her for so long um i mean i guess 2020 isn't that but I missed her when she first came out. I couldn't afford her at the time. And after seeing her aftermarket spike so fast and just continuously go up and up and up and up, um, I'm very happy to finally have her and not have had to pay the ridiculous aftermarket prices for her. Um, so that was a big win for me. Let me know if you guys have this figured down below or if she too is on your guys' grill list. Um, if you guys want to check out more of me or check out my figure here, I will have uh, all of my links down below. I have a card um, account which will give you the links for all of my socials um, and I also directly link my TikTok and my main Instagram down below so make sure to check those out. And yeah and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!